Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jojo. I'm doing this just because I'm bored. You know how it be. I appreciate everyone that watched the last video. Got a couple complaints that I'm addressing right now. Frankly, y'all are wondering what all this is. I just kind of skimmed past in my first 100 days video. And what can I say? Like, I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting, but you know how it is. So we're just going to do kind of like a world tour, base tour, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to jump off the tower. Yeet! So I've done quite a bit off camera since the 100 days. In the Minecraft world, it's day 174. So it's been 70 days of me just doing stuff. So let us go. This is a little island before it's cleared. Here's like basically the farm that existed all the way from the beginning, my Hall of Heroes. Everyone who comments top, or not really top five, but first five is gonna be on the wall. See, Hall of Heroes. You got the nice carpet. First five comments on every video gets a sign, plaque, whatever you wanna call it. That's including this video. So, you guys were wondering how I got all this beautiful diamond armor, man. And well, I'll be honest, I stink at Minecraft. I really, really am not good at this game. So instead of mining for diamonds, what I did, potatoes, carrots, sugarcane, I created the villager trading hall. So, a lot of these guys existed during the video. These are different because they all got turned into witches and died. So did those guys over there. Um, I have a little bit of footage of that. It's not really coherent because I was freaking out. Because I almost died. But if you wanted to see it, I suppose I could post like a duds video of all my m mistakes. I just cropped most of them out. So I mostly used the librarians and the cartographers for paper. And then I would sell glass to these guys and that's how I got all the money to trade with the weaponer. The armorer, where is he? Armor, as you can see, whoop. That's how I got my diamond armor. And then all the other guys were basically money. Like there's a bunch of cartographers, a bunch of librarians. We have signs the various different things I got. I did not use my enchanting table at all. And as you can see, I don't really use the farm that much. And in a future video, hopefully you'll see me take it down. Got some trees. I also went to the other side of the, not really other side of the world, but like 200 blocks that direction. And well, oh, oh, no, no, not my pumpkins. Ugh. Yeah, this is the pumpkin field I created at the end, technically like day 101, because of those pumpkins I found, like right before defeating the dragon. Made my little pumpkin man right there. Oh, my pets, my children. My pets and my children, I almost forgot. Pets, children, I don't know. So first up, we got Meat Bag. He's my little pride and joy, number one. Chase was number two. Jack Skellington was number three. Yeah, I know the name doesn't really fit, but I was thinking, you know, Pumpkinhead, Jack Skellington, you know. Here's some sheep that I'm captured. I wanted the brown sheep. I didn't know you couldn't get a light brown. So I tried breeding for a light brown until I found out you couldn't do it. Chickens for a new project. For your One Piece fans, Gold Diraja. Then we got 007. He was the first zombie I realized I could dress up however I wanted. And then we got Blue. He has fully enchanted diamond armor. Well, not fully, but all the stuff you can buy. There's bones. Ah! And then there's uh, Zerg. I'm not too thrilled about that name. I'd have to say, if 
I had to pick a favorite right now out of all my pets, or children, whatever. Blue, I think, is the most unique, but he's not my favorite. Meatbag was my firstborn. He's still not my favorite. My favorite is the second child, Chase. Chase the zombie boy. Those guys are gonna be annoying. I built the wall up during my little adventure. I got the, that idea from Luke the Notable. Stay notable. So we're gonna go to bed. These guys don't despawn because they have name tags and most of them I gave them their stuff. Not those two, but I gave Jack Skellington, I gave Blue, and I gave 007 over here their stuff. The skeletons, I don't think, pick up anything. So the skeletons just have whatever they came with when I found them. So we're going to go to sleep. All right, now I can show you more of the stuff. And see that house over there? We don't talk about that house. <laughs> That's going to be a reveal, maybe, in a later video. All right. Oh, something died right here. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is literally a stone pit I carved out for a future project in a future video. There's creepers. I did level a lot of this. And I just put the dirt blocks down. No! We're gonna use my diamond axe. I have no semblance of a mob farm, so this is the only way I can get any gunpowder is by hunting creepers. It's terrifying. I almost died multiple times because of creepers. No drop, what? Now oh, there's another one. Go away. Now, if you're wondering what this stone structure is, I'm about to show you once I clear out these pests. Alright. It does not have a proper door, but this is Mr. Boom, Mrs. Boom, and Boom Jr. Rip, Mr. and Mrs. Boom. They, uh, they are no longer with us. But Boom Jr. is a nice boated creeper. In Java, apparently if you boat a mob, they don't despawn. So that's nice. The main reason why I killed those creepers is I was afraid they're going to hurt Boom Jr. Can't have that now. I don't have an enchanted shield. I don't know what you guys think about enchanted shields, but I normally, in previous worlds... We'll make an enchanted shield. I'll give it unbreaking three. And, uh... I think that's it. I don't know. Unbreaking three is really, like, the get-up. Do you guys like my new skin? The last one was just something I kind of just goofed up. I took a panda skin and just, like, modified it a bit. Where I really like pandas... So that's, like, why I have a panda head. I was like, I think I need to look a little bit more different from a regular panda. So, there are red pandas in the wild. This is not the wild. This is Minecraft. I'm a pink panda. So, yeah. Gave myself green eyes. I don't even have green eyes in real life. I just thought they were pretty, I guess. Pretty. Something like that. Nice thing about my wall, nothing can really get over it. Except for spiders. The occasional zombie, like, glitches out and comes over, but it only happened once so far. So I'm going to build some sort of enclosure for my little friends here. Aren't you going to pick up your meal? 
Google said they would eat rotten flesh. I'm not so sh sure. I'm not so sure about that. But I think I established how I got my diamond armor because that was the biggest thing that people said. Is how did you get the diamond armor, man? Ah, no, I just messed up my pumpkins. Whatever. And well, I traded for him. You know? Like capitalism, bruh. I stink at Minecraft, but I'm pretty decent at capitalism. At eh, parkour! <laughs> This is the extent of the farm. All this sugar cane was probably my easiest money maker. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but the sugar cane appeared to grow faster than everything else. And I'll be honest, I don't like farming. Like, you have to in the beginning, but I don't like to. Here's my little nether portal. No, I'm not going in the nether. I'm terrified, even with diamond armor. And it's closed off because I'm afraid piglins are going to come through. So I don't want to deal with that. In all fairness, you pretty much saw everything I did in the nether. I just tunneled around until I found the blaze spawner. Like, there, I didn't do anything in the nether. Auto furnaces, this one does glass. Excuse me. This one does smooth stone. I'm doing a project in a future video with. Um, let's go over my gear. I got protection three on the helmet. Now this is all the stuff I beat the dragon with. Protection three, mending, unbreaking three. Unbreaking three, mending, protection four. Projectile protection, mending, unbreaking three. Worst piece of st stuff I have on me. Protection four, unbreaking three, mending. Unbreaking, sharpness, looting three, mending. I only added looting and mending to the sword. My yeet pickaxe. Efficiency five, mending, unbreaking three, fortune three. Same thing with silk touch. Basically, I think I just added mending and efficiency. I added efficiency and mending, maybe unbreaking. I had to craft my own shovel, I think. I don't have a guy that would sell me a shovel. I remodeled my house, if you vaguely remember from the beginning, it was all cobblestone. I kept the pathway the same because, I don't know, I just like the cobblestone floor slash ceiling. There's my ender egg, couple chests. I accidentally dyed this sign, and I just left it like that. I have a brewing stand, although I can't make any potions because I don't have nether wart. Like I said, terrified of the nether. My never used enchanting table, my iron farm that sometimes works, uh, that was another complaint. Like, oh, how did you make your iron farm? Like, okay, bruh. Like, you wanna see how I made the iron farm? It's literally a box with a bunch of villagers inside. In Java, and a kind of bedrock, I guess, if you just put a bunch of villagers together with beds, they spawn iron golems. So the iron golems spawn up there, they go down the water, and then there's a second water path right here that I'm underneath. And then, uh, yeah, there's some campfires right there they fall into, then I get iron and poppies. That's the breeder. They fall down, go this way, and in there. I diverted it though, so they fall down over here, and now I get villagers over there. I mean, it's probably a very inefficient way to do it. But I've always had trouble making, like, efficient farms. So, this is, like, as the good as I could do in my 100 days. Like I said, not very good at Minecraft. So, I mean, I hope I answered all your questions, guys. So, that's all. Come back if you're ever bored. Bye.